This is the Samsung Galaxy A7 2018. Samsung has been known to premiere new features in their A series line and the A7 2018 is no surprise. Out of the box, the first thing you notice is how slim and light the phone is. It's a premium feeling device with the glass on the front and back. Flip it over and you're greeted with not one, not two, but three cameras on the back. Yes, three. And then one on the front. So on the back you have one 24 megapixel camera, a second 8 megapixel camera, and a third 5 megapixel camera. I'm sure you're curious to know more about the triple camera setup. Let me break it down. With one camera, you can take a normal picture. With two cameras, you can take a picture with the bokeh effect, that blurred background effect you usually get from professional cameras, yeah. And then a third camera gives you the full picture with a 120 degree wide angle lens. No more cramping to fit anything into frame or no more going far back so you can fit the whole picture into the frame. On the front, it has a 24 megapixel front facing camera with an LED flash and guess what? It also does the blurry background effect, a feature Samsung calls selfie focus. Spiky. The A7 also features Samsung's scene optimizer technology where the best setting for each image is applied based on artificial intelligence. So when you point to take a picture of a building, it knows you're taking a picture of a building. When you point your camera at a dog, it knows you're taking a picture of a dog. And it optimizes the camera specifically for that shot. We all know Samsung has always been the king of displays when it comes to mobile department, even TVs. And the A7 is no different. It features a 6.0 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2220. Super AMOLED technology actually gives you a bright screen with vibrant colors way better than you will ever have on an LCD screen. Even in broad daylight, the screen is still very visible. The Samsung Galaxy A7 2018 comes with base model of 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. There's also a 128 gig model still with 4 gig RAM and then another 128 gig model with 6 gigs of RAM. Speaking of storage, the new A7 has three slots, meaning you don't have to choose between a SIM card and a memory card like you do on your previous devices. This time you have three slots so you can still have both SIM cards in your phone and still have space for a memory card up to 512 gigabytes. So 512 plus 128 gigs, you do the math. As you can see, there's no home button anymore, meaning no fingerprint scanner on the front of the phone. But wait, that doesn't mean there's no fingerprint scanner and it hasn't been moved to the back because the back still looks smooth. It's on the side embedded into the power button, quite conveniently placed if you ask me. When it comes to the audio department, Samsung still maintains the headphone jack and the A7 comes with Dolby Atmos. If you know Dolby, you know what they do with sound and how their technology can transform your audio into an immersive listening experience, especially when you're using headphones. The Galaxy A7 2018 is also available in four colors, blue, black, gold, and pink. No fancy names here. The battery is a 3300 milliamp hour and should give you a full day use. I've tried it for a full day. Performance when you're gaming, since it's a mid-range phone, you don't get crazy performance like you get on the S line or the Note line. It gives you mid-range performance. So playing a game like PUBG, you have about medium setting set and there's no throttling, no breakages whatsoever. It did perform quite well and I like it. So if you're in the market looking for a budget mid-range phone, the Samsung Galaxy A7 is one you should look at. The pictures are great, the audio is good, battery life is great and if you're a gamer, you will love it too. This has been Kobe Spiky and Chroma and that's a Samsung Galaxy A7 2018 review. Spiky.